Hello and welcome back to my crazy electronics videos. Apart from today, I'm not going to really talk about my electronics. I want to talk a little bit about another channel called Mendit Mark. I'm a great fan of Mendit Mark because I've been watching him for a long time and I really appreciate his expertise and knowledge and insights into repairing usually other people's electronics. However, shockingly, I just learned that one of his videos was taken down by a, a, what looks like a spurious copyright claim by the manufacturer of electronics goods that he was looking at. So in this video segment of Mark's video that I was able to get a hold of, that's the video that's been taken down, he talks about how this very, very expensive preamp was sent to him by the manufacturer because the person who sent it to the manufacturer and requested for it to be repaired didn't like the quotation for the repair which admittedly was very high and so the person who owned the amp asked the manufacturer to send it to mend it mark to see if he could fix it you can see here that mark goes through and uses his a large amount of equipment that I'm very jealous of, but specifically this oscilloscope to very quickly diagnose that there is an issue with the output signal levels. Now I've been known to make my own electronics and you can see an example of that in the video right now. So when I looked at the electronics that Mark was uncovering inside the box, I was quite shocked. I mean, look at how many of those boards are connected together with standoffs. And did you see that cardboard come out of the case here? Now, these cardboard, what are they called? Uh, shims, I guess. They're meant to stop the case from rattling around, but dear, oh dear. Now, these multi-layer boards here, they're very, well, they're comparatively very heavy. I mean, they've got huge, great big heat sinks on them, right? You would expect, or I would expect, um, a build quality to reflect the price. And with such an expensive piece of kit, I would expect that these should have been really more rigidly fixed so that even in transportation, they don't come loose and they don't break apart. But those plastic standoffs, I don't think that they really stood a chance. I don't really like the way that uh, these very large electrolytic capacitors have been just hot glued down apparently, hot glued down onto the PCB like that. Uh, also the way that the plastic separators have just broken off like that, the, the screws, bases, is just, in my view, that's, that's really not acceptable. So the large amount of the circuit boards here, if we have a look at that little diagram there, which Mark drew up, that diagram there shows that there's quite a lot of redundancy in terms of power supply. But all those boards are quite densely packed and I'm pretty sure that, that densely, those densely packed boards, they heat up and you can see here that there is a problematic tantalum capacitor. So, when I look back at Mark's video, I can see that it's actually no longer available due to a copyright claim by Tom Evans. But when I was watching all of Mark's video, I could see nothing that was really copyrightable by Tom Evans. That's why I say that it's, in my view, what looks like a spurious copyright takedown claim. I mean, it's a product and it's available to the public. And, you know, this logo here looks like a copyright or trademark infringement of Intel, right? But what is fair use in copyright law? So if you are using commentary or criticism, and then you are allowed to quote parts of a copyright work to allow you to show the context of that criticism and review. But I don't think that anything that Mark was showing was even covered by copyright. A box containing electronics is not a copyright thing. It's a product that can be purchased. And it's a per thing that can be purchased by a general public. So 
the manufacturer cannot use, in my view, a copyright claim to take down a video just, be just because it shows the internals of a box that you can buy from the manufacturer. The manufacturer has already released it to the public. Therefore, they cannot claim that it is hidden copyrightable work as such. And actually, just by looking at the box, you, you don't violate any kind of copyright. So why am I making this video? Why am I making this what is basically a reaction video to Mark's video? Well, I think that there is an inherent unfairness in making a, what apparently to me, looks like a completely spurious copyright claim and getting Mark's video removed and trying to force Mark into potentially spending large amounts of money to try and fight what looks like a very spurious legal claim. If I received this preamp based on my electronics knowledge, I wouldn't have been you know, happy with receiving such an expensive piece of kit, which looks like this. I wouldn't want to sell something that looks like this if I was charging such an expensive amount of money for a hobby build that I do, yes, perhaps, but you know, grinding the component numbers off ICs doesn't help anyone. These resistors soldered as a bridge over the top of what looked like uh, small tantalum capacitors. It just looks like, to me, it looks like a great big mess of hot glue and plastic screws and plastic supports and I would not be happy selling this for such a large amount of money to anyone. To be honest, I wouldn't really be happy with it as a hobby build. Depending on where this was manufactured and where it was purchased, some regions have a fit for purpose consumer protection law and to be honest, the way that this thing has just, you know, disintegrated. To me, in my mind, it is just not fit for purpose given the high cost of this box of stuff. So that's my review and my criticism of the box of electronics that Mark was repairing. So anyway, I think I'll leave this video there. I swore I would never do a reaction video, but apparently I now have, but that's only because, as I've previously said, I think it's completely unfair to try and take down Mark's content just because it shows the internals of a piece of electronic equipment that, in my view, and in the view of other people, it doesn't look great for that electronic equipment. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a great day, evening or night wherever you are.